there! Welcome back to Feral Art, or welcome to Feral Art. Uh, if you're new here, my name is Kelly, and uh, I hope that you'll like this video enough to stick around for upcoming festivities. Uh, and if you are a returning guest, hi, thank you! Also, how you doing? Oh, good, 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 good. Let's see. Today, I have a 24 by 30 Soho Urban Artist Heavyweight Stretched Canvas. Uh, these are stapled on the back. I have taped and pinned it on the back and painted my sides and edges with Liquitex Professional Iridescent Rich Silver. So, today I believe we're going to try a blowout with that. And my colors are Chromacryl White, Gold Impression Blue, TLP Velvet, Purple Cloud Mix, Cobalt Blue Hue from Lucas Krill, and Folk Art Purple Flash, plus just a little bitty bit of Golden Cobalt Violet Hue. So let's just get down the canvas and see what happens. So I have base paint mixed up of Liquitex Professional Iridescent Rich Silver plus TLP Meteorite plus Remfio uh, Holographic Ultra Shift Diamond Luster Silver Glitter. Mixed this up yesterday. It was super bubbly. I was going to paint last night and too many bubbles. So, I'm going to paint now. Okay, I've tried really hard to get these all to the same consistency, so hopefully that'll work out. First thing going down is going to be my Chroma Curl White. paper cups because it's just too hard to get enough on with the stir sticks and things. This way I can make a little, I need a point. This is the TLP Velvet. This is the Violet Cloud. The Cobalt. Flash plus cobalt violet hue. And then to top it off, I'm just going to hit it with a little bit more velvet. Blowing, we will go. I'm going to go on cool. Got my Berta. I'm gonna go on cool and low to begin with.
always do Like you always do Okay, here are the wet results of my uh, blowout with the purple cloud and all the other colors. The purple really is strong. But anyway, let's get down here and look. Okay, here we are at the bottom. It's pretty, pretty colors together. Lots of little things coming up in there. Um, we've got some cells, got all kinds of weird wrecking going on. I have a plan, sort of, to embellish this, um, but I don't know. It all depends on, you know, when it dries, what's it look like, do I like it as it is, is it ugly, does it need help? So we'll see. Thus far, I'm not sure how I feel about it, but uh, we'll see. We have all kinds of glittery stuff happening because of the glitter that I added to the silver. Um, and because of the TLP in the silver, there's all kinds of stuff going on in here. But whoo-hoo, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. And of course, the Viejo in the purple cloud never heard a thing. So yeah, um, we're going. I was going to blow it out more, but I kind of was liking the wild look of it. So, you know, I left it. So anyway, we've got glitteries. We've got glitteries that you really can't see. We've got glitteries that you can see, and I will see you when it's dry. Okay, here are the dry results of my blowout on this silver background, which is not going to show its true beauty to you, I don't think. Uh, this is so sparkly in real life. I just, you know, it's like everything else. The camera just doesn't really do it justice. 
but it is a pretty thing. I like her. I think she's real pretty. Now, I'm not done with this. This is going to get some amount of decor added, but I did want to show you where we're at right now. And it's just hard to see because of the sparkles in the darn silver. And trying to stay out of my light ain't no joke. But we have some nice, nice things going on in here. We have some cells. We've got all kinds of craziness, some lines, some cool blowouts and embellishments so far. But that ain't the end of it. See if I can move over here and get it do any better. There we go. Now we got some of the shine a little bit better. But there is glitter in this silver, and it is a live. It's just really hard to capture with a camera. They can put a man on the moon, but they can't make a camera catch your glittery spots. There you go. But I think it turned out really pretty. Not exactly what I had. Planned, but you know, go with the punches, man. You know, make it what you can. I got some new markers that Britta Clayton Design told me about. So we're going to be trying those out. I don't know how they're going to work on metallic, but we're going to find out, by golly. Anyway, she pretty. Say so, hey, before you go. How about you hit that subscribe button if you haven't done it already. And uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video or if you like me or if you like anything in life. And leave me a comment. I'll get back to you um, eventually. Sometimes I'm not on top of it, but I try hard. And uh, share with your friends if you can. You know, get our art outside of our own niche. So yeah, there we go. Dried results. Whoop-de-doo. I will see you next time.